Sunda, just a ferry ride from Hong Kong, has been called the land of the chefs. Today, we'll meet the master chef of Sunda and find out how this remarkable place got that name. It's a visit to the land of the chefs next on Martin Yen's China. Today, I'm going to show you what happens when a little fishing village grows up. We are in Sunda, just 40 minutes from Guangzhou, a 600-year-old place that is famous as the birthplace of some of the greatest Cantonese chefs. Just 20 years ago, Sunda is just a sleepy, small fishing village. Ah, 20 years later, it's one million people, and this is the Civic Center. Here is the concert hall. And here is the Performing Arts Center. Ah, this is a beautiful plaza. Ah, behind me is the Sunda City Hall. And right nearby is Sunda Polytechnic College, the home of my good friend, Professor Roberta Wong Leung. Welcome, Hello, honorary brother. How professor. Are you doing? How Welcome are you doing? back to Sunda Polytechnic. Thank you, thank you very Great much. Great to see you. Wow. This huge new campus is the home of the prestigious School of Hotel and Tourism Management, run by Dr. Wong Leung. Hey, I'm a big man on campus here. They even have a display that includes my first walk and knife that my mom gave me when I first left China. Well, it's great to have you back again. The students just love you, and I think you must feel at home. So we're training them for all over China, Hong Kong, Macau, even Singapore wants to have our students, United States and Australia. And we're very honored to have you as one of our honorary professors. You really are an inspiration and you really contribute a lot to promoting Chinese culture. After a quick visit to the campus, Roberta takes me for a real treat, dinner with one of Sunda's best chefs. You can tell this is definitely a seafood banquet prepared by Master Chef Tom of East Ocean Restaurant in the city of Sunda. You know, I'm actually proud to be here because I make contribution to this banquet. The several of these dishes, the fish and the ingredient, I help to catch the fish. Uh, I'm the fisherman. Time to go fishing. This fisherman's outfit, huh? <laughs> right next to the uh, fish pond, they also grow all their daily vegetables for the restaurant. Everything is fresh, the best quality. Uh, Chef Tom have to have quality fish and quality produce. What looks like an ordinary pond is actually a very complex, sustainable fish farm a complete ecosystem with different kinds of fish all living in a perfectly balanced environment. In this pond, there are four or five different kinds of fish. Some are on the swimming on the top, some on the middle, some like scavengers, mm, catfish on the very bottom. They even have eel, four or five different kinds of fish. Wow, today's catch is so big. It takes eight of us straining our backs to pull in the net. Ooh. Huge catfish. It takes two years to raise. Freshness at its best. Back at East Ocean Restaurant, it is time to enjoy the results of all our hard work. Ah, let's try the uh, the first uh, the first dish, huh? Sivu. Mm. I help to serve Professor Wong Leung, and I also serve my teacher, Master Chef Tom. In every bite, in every dish, 
I can taste why Sundet is famous for its freshwater fish and why it is often called the land of the chefs. Hey, I'm making a very interesting serving bowl, a fish bowl. So I'm making a little basket. I have two baskets, white basket, another white basket, and I shape them into a little bowl. Ah, in honor of the land of Chef and Sunda, ah, I put on this chef jacket today to, to honor and pay respect to all my chef friends worldwide, particularly in the land of Chef Sunda. Look at this, this is gonna be a beautiful fish. Ah, fish bowl, nice and round. Now, let it drain well. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to do a wonderful dish. I call it chef fish basket. Now, you can use flounder, you can use sand dab, you can sew, you can use anything. And I'm gonna take this out, and I put this over here, and I wanna show you how easy. This fish is, I cut one here, and I slice one slice right here, and I slice a little piece right here, okay? I sliced a little piece right here, right here. Oh, very interesting. And I open this up like this, and I trim this. I trim this, and I trim this. Look at this, and the whole thing comes out. Beautiful fish fillet comes out, okay? Ah, you have a wonderful fish fillet. I cut this up a little bit, and I trim this. Also, trim this out. This is another fish fillet. If you don't want the skin, you see, trim the skin. Hold on to this, and you trim the skin, trim the skin, trim, 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 trim. You see this? Trim. Ah. And then I cut this into the bite-sized pieces like this, and I set it aside, and I cut And then this one, I want to keep the skin. I don't want to throw them away because it gives color contrast. So this way, I have one, and a two, and a three, and and a five, okay? This will have some. And we'll put it over here, and we're gonna marinate all of these wonderful fish, okay? Marinate all of these. I have some leftover salmon. Leftover salmon, I put it over here, okay? And I quickly marinate this. Now, simple marinade. A tiny bit of salt, okay? A tiny bit of five spice powder, and a tiny bit of cornstarch. That's all you have to do. Ah, this is beautiful. Look at this. Very simple to do, okay? Nice and easy. Heat this up when this is hot enough, and we're gonna put some ginger, cut in a diamond cut. A lot of ginger, I love ginger. Ginger goes really well with fish. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of fish, which is already marinated, okay? Which is already marinated. And I put also in here, ah, stir fry, okay? Put a tiny bit of hot oil here, Oh, look at this. The seasoning is very simple. All I have to do is a tiny bit of wine. Oh, splash a tiny bit of Xiaoxing wine or rice wine. Oh, look at this. Oh, very, very hot. Okay, look at this. And then also use a few drops of oyster flavor sauce. Just a few drops. And then if you happen to have fish sauce, mmm, just a few drops. Just a few drops to give a little kick of the fish flavor. Mm. Look at the color contrast. Whoa, look at the color contrast, huh? And then a tiny bit of these color vegetable. I don't want to put it in too early because I want to keep the crunch. Oh, beautiful. Keep the crunch. Ah, look at this. Whoa. Ah, this is so beautiful. And I want to show you how easy it is to put this Oh, sizzling, sizzling, whoa. Look at that, just the right amount of food in my basket, look at this. And this is a beautiful dish that everybody can do this at home. It's a wonderful chef's fish basket, look at this. This is the chef's basket. Ah, next. A chef challenge, and I'll cook with my good friend, Chef Jennifer Cox. Here in Sunda, the land of the chef, six of the best award-winning chefs in all of China have come together at the Happy Together restaurant for a unique culinary event. 
Each of them is going to cook a signature seafood dish. We've got the chefs, we've got the seafood. Now it is showtime. Sunda, land of the greatest Cantonese chefs. Right here, these are the six of the top chefs in the city of Sunda. The first group of chefs are going to prepare each their signature dish. Chef Ching from Feng Sheng Hotel is going to prepare a signature dish called Plentiful of Good Fortune. Oil blanch the fish. Wow, look at this. And then pull it out. Ah, the fish. Put the fish back. Very good. And the dish is basically done. Ah, take it over here. Serve in a fish boat. Looks like a boat sailing in the ocean. Very nice, colorful. Chef Zheng is a happy to get a restaurant to a very, very interesting signature dish of his. It's called clam meat and a lettuce cup. Salt and sugar, flavor the water. And then water blanch. Water blanch all the vegetables. Take it out. Whoa. Garlic chai, green chai. of oil. Now, serve. Well, let's go to the third dish. No. Shilong from Jinan Chanti will prepare another signature dish. It's called rainbow fish chowder. Tiny bit of oil. All the rest of the ingredients. More ginger. Ginger goes well with fish. Mushroom and wood ear. Broth. Red date. Celery, shredded celery. Carrot. Look at this. Look at the fish. And then the fish. Lots of fish. Ah. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Look at the color. Rainbow color. Now we start with the second group of master chef. First, Chef Wu. The first lady walk chef I have ever had the opportunity to work with. Amazing. Chef Wu is going to do a walk saute, fresh water snake with baby green mustard. Water branch the mustard green. Left-handed master chef. Wow, snake. Snake. You cannot use high heat. Warm oil. Vegetable back. Wine. The snake back. This is Chef Feng from Golden Hotel preparing a very unique dish, braised lobster with fragrant rice. Time for the cornstarch. Green onion, chopped shallot, lobster roll. Whoa, this is a fragrant flower. Ah, beautiful. Huh? Surf. Oh, 
Wow, look at that. Finally, Chef Lin from Yi Sen restaurant do a very unique Sunda fish dumpling, the very famous one. Ah, uh, filling. Shape it into a dumpling. Half moon, you boil the dumpling, the fish dumpling. The, the roll, the wrapper is made with fish. You cannot cook it, you should not cook it for too long or too high a temperature. Otherwise they will break. When the dumpling is done, remove it. And put it right here on top of the green. Then you make the broth. Rich fish stock. A little touch of pepper, salt. Put the broth right on top. In China, they always said, the best cuisine is Cantonese cuisine. The most respected, the most complex. And most of the Cantonese chefs were trained in the city of Shunda. That's the reason why we call this the land of chefs. Ah, I'm going to continue to enjoy. Kai Jose, Kai Jose. My good friend Jennifer used to be executive chef at China Moon, working with my good friend, our good friend Barbara Chop for many, many years. And we have been good friends, we've been colleagues, and we do, we travel around the world together. We do. Oh, Cooking. wonderful. Yeah. You know, the amazing thing is, you know, I was born in Canton, mm -hmm. and you were also born in Canton. Close. It's Canton, China. <laughs> Canton, Ohio. <laughs> very okay. similar, too. Very, very. And this is, um, this is, I, the Chinese call Si Gua. Si Gua. Si Gua. Uh huh. And, and that's, it's, it's like a, um, like okra, right? Oh, yeah, the Asian okra. So we will peel this and we will use a knife to cut it into little pieces like this. Little diagonals. Oh, diagonal, really, uh, right. One step ahead of you, oh. Martin. Oh, of course, you're always one step ahead of me. <laughs> you're always good. I don't think that's true. And put it all over here okay. and put it all over here. So it's all ready. You know, so yes. today we cook fish. Uh, we're going to cook seafood trail in a treasure chest. But this is going to be a yin yang chest, right? Yes. You're going to do one and I'm going to do one with the same ingredients. Same ingredients, well, different preparation. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, here we have some prawn. We have I butterfly, shrimp. I butterfly this. I You're going to butterfly this, yours? I butterfly okay. this. And I I'm turn this. I'm going to butterfly mine too. Yeah, and I, I turn this inside oh, out. Oh, you're doing the Looks fancy like the, Yeah, thing. look at that. Hey, oh, a little right. butter. Fancy a guy. little a rabbit running around. Okay, and then we'll have a, a, a couple cup of fish, mm -hmm. and then it's beautiful. I slice the fish uh, in half, and I cut it at an angle, like this, like this, that looks and great. like this. And I'm gonna use a little traditional lotus leaf. Look, Look at this. At that. This lotus leaf, you open up, it looks beautiful, like this. You could Look almost at that. wear that as an outfit. You know what? When it <laughs> rings, it protects you from the rain. <laughs> what are you going to use? I'm using something different. I'm going to huh? use parchment paper. And in this French case, style. Yeah, yes. French style. And we'll fold this up or fold this up like this. Well, yours is very mm. pretty, but yeah. if somebody can't get um, lotus root, which might be hard to find in some well, parts of the country, then we have the parchment, parchment paper, perfect, right? Perfect, perfect. We're going to get a, a big bowl right here, and we'll okay. marinate all of this seafood. Excellent. We'll marinate all of this seafood, okay? We'll have three pieces for each, okay. and then scallop for everybody, and then fish for everybody. Let's marinate a little Excellent. bit. Excellent. With we a tiny bit, bit of, of yeah, tiny bit of wine, and sesame seed oil, Excellent. sesame seed oil, a tiny bit of salt and garlic and ginger, garlic? and a tiny bit of soy, yeah, and a tiny bit of pepper we'll some and soy. Oh, Beautiful. That's be so and then tasty. when this is all nice and ready, we toss it around. Little, there we go. We toss this around. Yeah, Mix beautiful. This up. Mix it well. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. And right. I'm going to put one big piece on the bottom. Okay, one I am going to put a little and, bit of oh, yes. vegetables. Yeah, and I line up my vegetable on the other side. So everybody is doing things so wonderful. So we're both using kind yeah. of the same ingredients, yeah. right? Same ingredient. Yeah. Line them more up. Lies. I need a piece of shrimp in mine. Ah, beautiful. Okay, I'm taking your butterfly yeah. shrimp, Martin. No problem. Let's see how that looks. And I'm going to do several butterfly All right. shrimp. Several butterfly shrimp. And... Wonderful, Excellent. wonderful. Line them all up. Look at that. 
line them all up, and then you f we fold it up, right? I'm going to start folding mine. Yeah. I think I'm ready. So I folded mine in half, and you can see, I'm... and I'm going to start in one corner. And the key to doing it this way for yeah. me is that you have to pinch this down. Yeah. And if we don't pinch it nice and firm, it'll um, the air will escape, and then Definitely. it won't steam as well. <clears throat> now, why Jennifer is doing that, I'm using this traditional way of doing it. And I tuck this in, and I fold this, and then I fold this. It looks very looks like a present. Like a present. Yeah. This is a present for you. Thank you. My dear friend. It's lunch. And then we're gonna steam <laughs> this. We can steam this right here. This is okay? great. This is and a classic dish. You're gonna bake them? I'm gonna bake mine. Okay. And you know what's great about this? I'm gonna put it on a tiny little sheet pan here. Yeah. And you could make many of these. Yeah. I'm gonna put this in a nice hot yes. oven, about four hundred degrees. And, and it won't take very long at all. It cooks really fast. How I are you gonna, cooking yours? I am gonna do this steaming, steam comes up. Why do you use a steam? You, I know that you make a lot of dumplings. Oh yeah, well, what's great about a bamboo steamer is that unlike having a metal top steamer where you get all the water and condensation drops back down on top, this has, like you can see, it's porous. Yeah, you so can see the steam, the steam coming steam out from here. The steam stays inside, yeah. but the condensation doesn't stay inside. Yeah. So it's it's a much better way to do it, and you don't end up with a soggy mess. So now you're, you're baking yours? Yes, I'm baking mine. And uh, all, all, all it takes about six, seven minutes. Oh yeah, the most. Yeah. And then I'm steaming mine also six or seven minutes. One is lotus leaf, and one is parchment, parchment paper. paper. Mm, let it steam for a few minutes. Ah, you know what? I don't smell as much here, no. but I smell yours. You can smell mine, because yeah. mine is cooking at a bit of a higher temperature. Yeah. It's also in an oven, which is a dry heat yes, cooking yes, method, yes. and steaming inside. So, ah, let's check it out, let's check it out. I'm gonna, Beautiful. It, oh, uh, look actually, at this. Puff up, Isn't look at that, great? puff up. Beautiful, I think, ah, oh, look at that. this should be done, it's beautiful. You That's get a great. plate and take it out. Normally, you should use a towel to bring it out, but I am courageous, I am brave. You're so brave. And then I take this out and go, um, ah! <laughs> and then I slide this. When you do it at home, do me a favor. Don't do it like this, okay? Because this is very dangerous. And okay. then, look at this, beautiful. Let's take oh, it over Martin, here. Oh, that looks great. Oh, we can actually cut it up. Now, you're gonna cut yours yeah. open, too. I'm gonna cut mine. Yes, yes, yes. And mine is, is nice. It has the nice browned yeah. edges. I, but I'm gonna make an X in the middle. How I, are you doing yours I'm with gonna scissors? I'm actually cut the whole thing up so everybody can see. Now, do you have to be pretty careful, right? Because you don't want to get a steam burn. Yeah, yeah I me don't too. want to get a steam burn. Look at all of the nice sauce oh, in there. Look at this, this is Rice beautiful. or noodles? Yeah, I mean, I like rice with mine. Oh, beautiful, because a lot of juice inside. Yeah. And it's cut it up and the loofah is right on the bottom. Yeah, this is why no, it's so it's beautiful. Great. And mm. we can put some fun things yeah. on top, right, to put garnish some it? And then put a tiny bit of chopped ginger. Oh, that's And how a about idea. a little some piece of this? Huh? Oh, that looks uh, great. A little, about, a little piece of this. And also Ooh, is there some a tiny bit of green coriander? one. Yeah. Green one, too. A little coarse cor coriander and put it right on the side, like this. Oh, that's okay? beautiful. And it's so beautiful. And uh, let us surf over here. And this is how beautiful. This is the chair. Look at the juice. That's the reason why you should have so rice. Great. What you have here is seafood trail in a treasure chest. So if Yen and Jen can, can cook, cook Cantonese, Cantonese seafood, seafood, so can, can you. you. Jai Jen. Jen.